Welcome everybody to another session with Stretch Pilates. Today we're going to do a six minute flow. I'm just going to be taking you through a few movements that I enjoy and I hope you enjoy it too. We're going to start on our hands and our knees on our mat. We're going to start with a cat stretch. So what you want to do is you want to tuck your tail and bring your lumbar spine into a curve and then you're going to come back to neutral and then extend your thoracic spine um, moving your head up and then you're going to come back to neutral and then repeat so uh, tuck your tail and come back to neutral and then extend the thoracic spine and then come back to neutral we're just going to do this a couple of times just to get the get the body moving um, and getting uh, warmed up for, for the rest of the session inhale and then exhale to come back to neutral now we're going to take our feet and push yourself back into a plank or prone and you're going to bring your right leg underneath your hip and then take your left leg underneath your hip so you're going to alternate legs and then exhale on the on the effort and inhale to take your leg back try and keep your TA activated here and your back nice and straight everything in alignment from here you're going to point your right foot and then take it up to the ceiling so keeping that leg nice and straight we're going to do five repetitions here and now we're going to point the left foot and then bring that up to the ceiling. So up and down. Up, keep the pelvis nice and stable. If you can, uh, just stay within your range. Push yourself back up into a down dog. And then we're going to walk our hands to our feet and go into a roll up. And then we're going to roll back down. And then you're going to walk your hands back into your front support and drop down for three push-ups. If you need to, you can drop on your knees and do your push-ups like that. From here, we're going to jump forward into a half burpee and jump back. Jump forward, try to keep the legs straight when you get to your shoulders. If you can't make it all the way, then just jump halfway. Now take your left leg and place it on the outside of your left hand into a runner's lunge pushing your bum forward and make sure that back leg is nice and straight. You're going to drop your left knee out to the side, deepening that stretch and giving yourself a bit more of a stretch here. Keep breathing throughout the movement and now we're going to move on to the right. Keep that left leg as straight as you can and really getting a good stretch into the hip flexors and uh, into both legs. Drop that right knee out to the side. Keep breathing here. Just take a moment and then take that right foot back down. We're going to drop down onto our knees and onto our bum. We're going to do rolling like a ball here. So hold on to your shins and on an inhale, you're going to roll back and exhale to come back up. Inhale to roll back, exhale to come back up. So stay in a nice C curve the whole time and exhale to come up. Inhale to roll down and exhale to come back up. Last one, inhale to roll down and exhale to hold, uh, come up and then place your legs down, lying on your back. You're going to bring your legs into tabletop and then take your arms out into a T position, palms facing up. Drop your legs to the right on an inhale and then exhale to bring them back to center. Inhale to drop them to the left and then use your obliques to pull yourself uh, back to center. Don't just use your hip flexors. Inhale to drop to the right and exhale back to center and drop to the left and back to center. From here, our next movement is um, you're going to bring yourself uh, after this last repetition into a chest lift, holding onto your shins and shoot your arms and legs away from each other, keeping your chest lift nice and high. This is called double leg stretch shooting arms and legs away and then swimming your arms back around to your starting position. From here we're going to extend the left leg and then change legs and extend the right. So change and extend, inhale to change and exhale to extend, inhale to change and exhale to extend, inhale to change and exhale to extend. From here take your right leg to 90, drop the left leg and pulse your leg twice to your face and then change legs again. Pulse twice with your leg and change. Keep that chest lift nice and high. And lower yourself down to the ground. Drop both feet down to the ground. From here we're going to take our legs up to 90 again. We're going to drop them down to 60, pointing the toes. 
inhale to bring it to 90 and exhale to roll over. Separate the feet, dorsiflex and then tap the floor and then slowly articulate back down all the way, bring your feet to 60, inhale and then exhale to go over, separate the legs, dorsiflex, tap the ground and then slowly articulate all the way down and last one, inhale and exhale to come over, separate the feet, tap the ground and then we slowly articulate all the way down. From here we're going to cross the legs and then move onto our hands and knees and then we're going to move onto our tummies. From here you're going to grab your left and your right leg and you're going to inhale to lift your chest off the floor and push your feet into your hands and then exhale to lower yourself down. Inhale to do the same again, trying to get maximum extension and last one, inhale to lift looking forward and then exhale to lower push yourself into a rest position and just take nice deep breaths in and out here we hope you enjoyed this session if you want to you can repeat it a couple of times and we'll see you on the next one